Hey everyone, I'm starting to work more on the tips right now and I realize I'm going to have to cut a good amount of material out on each side. So I have to figure out what the best way to cut fiberglass is. I have a call into my dad, he'll call me back very soon. And then what I'm going to have to do, that I realize is after the fact, so I went ahead and um, pulled all six of these rivets, but I'm going to have to drill them all out. Um, there's an actual additional piece, the tip right here, I was not aware earlier, uh, I misread the plans. Uh, it actually gets attached here on, onto this bit, and then this piece will also go way further into here after that material is gone, and that'll um, that'll give a rigidity in the actual side of it. So I'm gonna slowly keep working on it. It's a uh, pretty, uh, I don't know, transforming is not the right word, but it's gonna make the the horizontal look even more realistic and more real. I got my shop corgi Noah out here. Hey Noah. Just looking for things to eat. And so I'm gonna get back to uh, working on it and I'll show you how it looks. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I figured out how I'm gonna tackle this. The end cap I showed you in there earlier needs to be drilled out, but right now it's held in place with a couple of rivets keeping this entire area strong. I went ahead and I marked on the fiberglass where the cut needs to be made uh, for the actual um, elevator to fit in and you can see it's you know one or so millimeters off. I'm gonna go ahead back in there and, and flush it up so when I, I do make the cut it'll be 100% perfect back and forth. But I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill all the holes on each side so that way the fiberglass is gonna be held in a strong position when it happens and then I'll go back in and drill out those other pieces so I can attach that that uh, trailing edge rib to it and also what I need to do is I'm going to dimple die um, the top skin I'm going to uh, countersink the fiberglass and then the additional rib on the bottom I need to pull it out so I can dimple die those areas and then that way it'll, it'll all be held together actually I'm thinking I don't need to dimple die the bottom skin because um, uh, I'm countersinking into here but either way I'll keep working on that and uh, maybe only drill the last three to put the last rib on but either way, I'm just going to slowly keep going around and um, attaching this. I've also used a small uh, T-square to verify it was 100% proper before I started drilling. And it is so far, so I'm just going to keep drilling and go from there. Got all the uh, 40 size Clecos in this particular size. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side. Uh, every time I do a part, I always like to recheck the plans every single a bit just to make sure I don't miscalculate something or misread or interpret. So I'm gonna read the plans one time before I do the other side and then keep going. Okay, so I have all of the 40 size holes drilled for this particular part. I still need to go in and uh, uh, cut this particular piece out on each side. It's only marked the left side right now. I'm gonna do that bit next. Um, I did get a hold of my dad and I called him and asked him. He said it's fine to cheat, you know, a little bit of fiberglass off so it lines up so I was a little bit concerned about uh, making sure that I'm not losing any strength I said no no you're fine just um, you know mark where the the fiberglass actually meets the aluminum then cut that bit out uh, just another word of how I'm building the airplane I don't always stick uh, Clecos in every single hole when I drill out the different part especially if it's flat but this uh, piece is a curve and I want to make sure that um, each Clico is there holding the, the bit together because uh, it can bow out or not line up properly depending on how much uh, you put into, uh, sorry, how you drill each hole. So I kind of started here and worked backwards each way, one way or another. And so I would keep uh, uh, the, the entire piece kind of even with how much bow and flex is in it. Uh, so that's how it's looking right now. I'm going to go ahead and putty that in when I go to paint it so it'll kind of flow into the whole thing. But uh, it's looking pretty good right now, and I'm just going to keep working on it more later. Thanks for watching.